I want to present to your attention the new season of a 90 Day Fiancé show. The new season of the hit spin-off will show how Americans move to another country for love, not the other way. Five new couples and one couple returning from 90 Day Fiancé Love in Paradise. The couples that return are Danielle and Johan. Danielle leaves her home and job in New York to move with Johan to the Dominican Republic, but Johan has plans to live in America. In the trailer, the couple fights over their relationship roles, with Danielle remarking that since she is paying for everything, he should do more housework. When Johan responds that this is not the custom in the Dominican Republic, she bluntly tells him, you're my wife. Another striking couple is Gabriel from Florida and Isabel from Colombia. Gabe is an entrepreneur and meets Isabel in Colombia, who accepts him for who he is, transgender. But they're afraid they won't be accepted, and in the trailer, Gabe nervously tells Isabel's parents that he has something to say to them and that he doesn't want to hide anymore. But in my opinion, the most shocking couple is Debbie, a native of Georgia, and Usama, a native of Morocco. Debbie is 43 years older than Usama, but they fell in love after communicating through art. Debbie moves to Morocco to be with Usama, though her family is skeptical. The trailer shows a tense argument between them. He took my trust and he urinated all over it, Debbie says. I'm ashamed of you, she also tells him. You're weak.